people rely on agriculture to, to ensure that the local coffee shops are full and the banks are full and, and that the equipment dealers are dealing equipment and the local industry is supported by all these producers here. The more opportunities that I have to market what I grow, the more sustainable and viable my farm can be. All the communities in, uh, in Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Alberta are dependent on the, uh, the cash flow from the farmers. Canada is really a leader as far as innovation in canola. Um, you know, we've been able to uh, increase yields substantially over the years. We bring science to the field and that uh, produces a very sustainable crop. The canola that's produced here uh, is uh, of the highest quality of anywhere in the world. It is huge in terms of the jobs it creates. It's great to have canola. Um, without canola, we wouldn't be able to have a proper rotation here. Um, Canada produces way more, especially Western Canada produces way more than they can consume. So we need to export. As we look at something like the TPP, the, the fewer uh, barriers to entry in, in a lot of the countries that we're trying to, to work with on a direct basis. Um, the fewer barriers to entry they have, the better off we'll be. So it's pretty simple. If we're in, uh, we're, uh, it's a level playing field. If we're out, it's not a level playing field. A country like Japan, without the tariff barriers that we have now on oil, which are so punitive, it basically precludes any oil going into that country. You know, you take a passion in it and you love dealing with the producers because truly they're, they're the grassroots of our community. You are in canola country. <laughs> We're in canola country. <laughs> this is canola country. Oh, this is absolutely canola country. <laughs> yeah, this is canola country. I would definitely say this is canola country. Absolutely, it's, it's beautiful canola country. Yeah, this is canola country.